three main side effects that people will uh, frequently complain about after weightlifting or participating in high impact type sports like uh, or weight training type sports like CrossFit or um, uh, or long distance running and these include bursitis, tendonitis, and arthritis. Okay, and each one of these is uh, certainly a, a separate entity. Okay. They all involve inflammation, but inflammation of different uh, locations. Uh, a bursitis is inflammation of a bursa, and uh, you have bursas around each joint, but they're not inside the joint. They are, uh, as best as I could explain, um, a physiological um, space. And what I mean by physiological is that uh, normally there is no space in your bursa. It is uh, essentially like a deflated balloon. Okay, um, uh, You have a bursa on your elbow uh, and um, a few bursas on your elbow and your knees uh, and uh, around many of your joints. When the balloon is deflated, as normally in, in, in your bursa, there is some fluid in there, just a thin amount, and it allows for, allows for um, easy sliding. Okay? If there is an inflammatory problem, an overuse problem, and you end up getting a bursitis in which that bursa becomes inflamed, what ends up happening is that inflammatory cascade brings in cytokines, brings in white blood cells, uh, brings in fluid, and that bursa, which is normally a deflated balloon and is flat, then inflates, uh, not with air, but with fluid and all of these inflammatory uh, problems. And you can get people who you'll see have this, you know, really big, round, um, uh, kind of boggy, uh, basically, balloon under the skin, and it's not like a blister, you, you know, a blister is, is on top of the skin, a very thin layer of, of the skin gets disrupted and, and you get fluid that goes in. This is um, similar pathophysiology, but inside the bursa, and it, it, it's that balloon filling up with fluid. Um, people kind of look like they have Popeye elbows, and it's exquisitely tender. It's red and inflamed. Okay.